Hello guys, welcome back for another video. It is your girl Prissy. Welcome back for another vlog. Now I get a lot of questions in regards to my hair, like the color, what kind of cut do I ask for when I go to the barber shop? Um, how do I style it? And I do have a natural hair playlist linked down below for most of those questions. Now, I have never taken you guys to the barbershop with me. Well, I did take you guys, but I haven't posted that footage. I went to the barbershop on my birthday back in February, and I was disgusted with my haircut. However, the barber that cut my hair, we had a little bit of a communication problem because... I was asking for one thing, my wife was there and she thought I was asking for another. He did what she asked for instead of what I asked for, which means I was like bald right here on the sides. Like a dude, I ain't like that. I hated my hair and it was literally the day before my birthday. I freaked out, but I got it together cause y'all know, I be working the miracles with my hair. We're gonna head to the barbershop. Hopefully everything goes well. I'm gonna tell him exactly what I want and hopefully we accomplish that. After I'm done with the barbershop, we're gonna come back. We're gonna put a rinse in my hair because I have seen like, it looks a little faded at the top. So we're gonna come back and freshen up the color a, a little bit as well. So let's head to the barbershop. Yay, yay, yay. She wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? All right, y'all. I'm sitting in the chair, and I have the barber Sap here with me. Want to introduce yourself? Yeah, this is big Sap. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, so I'm getting ready to tell him how I want my hair cut. Well, we're going to talk about it because I may be wrong myself. So, so you guys can see how you want to get your hair cut, what to tell your barber when you go. So, what I think I want is a shadow fade on the sides, right? So I still want some hair because I think I got a temp fade last time mm -hmm. and it was too bald, like too much hair was gone. So I think what I want is a shadow fade. So what, what would they say to their barber if they wanted what I just said? More like a shadow fade. Okay, a shadow fade all the way around? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what I'm getting guys, a shadow fade all the way around. And I do wanna try to keep, cause I want my sideburns to grow. So I do wanna okay. try to keep some sideburns too. Okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, let's go. And when I go home, I'm gonna put a rinse on it so it'll be red all over instead of, all over yeah, instead of the black peeking through it. Mm -hmm. I am done. I will show y'all my hair once I get home, but I love it. It's exactly what I <laughs> it's exactly what I wanted. So let's head to the beauty supply store to get our dye. And I'll see y'all at home. y'all we made it to sally's i was gonna go to like a a regular little beauty supply store but i think i end up spending too much money in those with sally's i come and get what i came to get and i'm back out all right y'all so i'm in sally's 
I came to get my L'Oreal high color. I normally use the red and the magenta. So I think I'm just gonna get one of the reds today. It looks like we have to go up and see the sales associates for these hair colors. So let's go get our red. I'm also gonna try a new product today. So I think I wanna do a wash and go. So let me find some type of gel based product because that is what my hair normally loves. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah And much your lover who don't use big words, yeah I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out what's going on in your heart? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? the haircut turned out um, this side has a little more definition than this side because this hair right here actually needs to grow back in a little bit from my last cut but I will fix that when I get ready to actually style my hair I'll just fill it in a little bit and kind of manipulate this area but anyway let's get into dyeing my hair on the color let me let you see what the cut actually looks like so you can tell a difference between my red hair and then my new growth you know you can you can definitely see that so that's why I'm going to touch up this area a little bit and then like I told you right here I think it was cut a little too low the last time and it just needs to grow back a little bit but we are going to fix that little area right there so don't you worry so I got my water bottle just plain water in here and then I got my pick I'm about to pick my hair out because this is an old wash and go so I just want to get my hair you know manageable where I can easily get through the sections so just a little bit of water and then I am going to pick it out just adding a little bit of water makes it so much easier to pick out. And you know you guys want to just start with your ends and then work your way up. See how much easier it is to go through my hair now. Alright y'all, so I got my hair all combed out. Here is what it looks like. The next thing I like to do is protect like my skin, my ears, and you know the nape of my neck and stuff like that. So I just use... Um, my petroleum jelly this one is the great value brand but you know you can get whatever brand you want to use and I just put this all around the perimeter of my hair so that my skin doesn't get stained from the dye and then I even just add a little bit to the tips of my ears because you can always just wipe it off Vaseline ain't never hurt nobody I mean, well, I don't know, but 
ain't never hurt me. All right, so now for the fun part, we can get started adding this color to the perimeter of my hair. So because I use that 40 volume developer, I just mainly want to emphasize that like on the darker portions of my hair. So let's get started. So the last time I dyed my hair was almost a month ago, like a little over a month, maybe like a month and a few days. So that's how long my color has lasted me. Not too bad, right? And what I'm glad I learned to do is do this at home myself. Now, I'm not telling you to do your hair at home yourself, but for me, this works so much better for me. But I have shown you guys step by step how to apply your product, how to get your hair this color. So I'm going to link that video right here in the cards for you guys. And I will see you after I get all of my dye applied. All right, guys, so the dye is on. It's all over my roots. Here we go, y'all. I just wanted y'all to see the hair progress, the struggles, everything I go through with my hair because I do get a lot of comments of you guys loving it, but I need you to see what I have going on over here, okay? When it ain't looking too great. <laughs> all right, we're going to let this sit for about 15 minutes, rinse it out, give it a little bit of shampoo, and then I'm gonna go in with my rinse. So I will see you guys in 15 minutes. All right y'all, so the dye has been rinsed out. Now I'm about to go in with this crimson color by Adore, and it's a little a deeper red, not too deep, but it will offset this faded look here. So I'm about to put this rinse in my hair just on the top portion and then just let this sit for a while. Alright y'all, so I have the dye in my hair. Excuse the mess I am in our master bathroom. We have some stuff hanging up that needs to dry and be hung into the closet or some new things that need to just find a space to go. So disregard that. Anyway, I'm getting ready to put on my processing cap and I'm gonna hop in the shower really quickly. Once I get out, I can actually rinse this off my hair because I don't want my hair to get any darker so let me hop in the shower real quick and I will check in with you guys in a few minutes good morning guys it is actually the next day and it's time for me to style my hair so let's get out of this bonnet get out of my bed clothes and into something more comfortable to do our hair in all right guys so this is what my hair looks like it's fully dry so I'm actually gonna go and like fully drench my hair and get it fully wet as opposed to using my spray bottle I think that'll just take way too long to get it as wet as I want it so let me go ahead wet my hair all right so the first thing I'm going to do is use the root recharge serum by Cream of Nature. It has aloe and a black castor oil in it. So I'm gonna give it a good shake before I use it. And this is just like a little droplet system, you know, like you do like um, cough syrup for infants. And I really like that because it really does get right at your roots. So I take a bit in my, I guess my syringe, I guess that's what this would be called. I just dab a little bit on a few sections of my hair 
and I'll typically use about two of these on my hair. So let me go ahead and just add this all around my hair. Once I have it all in, I just give it a really good massage. Just to get my roots all stimulated and moisturized. I'm gonna use this one by Cantu because it mixes well with my gel products. So I typically like to use this one when I'm doing a twist out where I'm gonna be using a creamier product to do my twist. So this one works so much better with the gel products in my opinion. So I'm just going to take this leave-in conditioner and spray it all over my hair. With the Cantu leave-in conditioner, I don't feel bad about like putting a whole bunch in my hair because I know I'm not gonna see like any white buildup from it when I add my gel to my hair. So I feel really good about using the Cantu clear one. Next, I'm gonna go in with my detangling brush and just run that throughout my hair just to get any kinks or tangles out. Y'all, babe just came in the bathroom. I'm gonna get her to smell this new um, hair product that I brought yesterday. Come in the camera, baby, and smell it. That Shea Moisture product. You gotta open it, cause I gotta finish detangling my hair. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't it smell good? Mm. <laughs> As soon as I mm -hmm. smelled it, I thought of you. I was like, oh, she gonna love the way this smells. Yeah, all up on you like, baby, your hair smells so good. <laughs> oh, y'all saw me come through with the fresh tape too now. Okay, all right, okay. Back up so they can see it good. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna get rid of that gray next go around, y'all. <laughs> all right, y'all, so I am back. And if you have been following me for a while, then you know I like to separate the shorter parts of my hair from the top section. So getting started with the style, I'm going to add the Shea Moisture Defining Styling Gel. And yesterday was my first time seeing this product at Sally's. So I am very excited to try it. It smells so, so good. Oh my gosh. I just love a good smelling hair product. This is the consistency of the gel. So very thick and it looks like it will really like lock and hold your hair. So excited to try this gel with my finger coils. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit to my fingers and then just add that to the perimeter of my hair. I like to go in with my fingers and really saturate it and make sure that product is worked into my hair just so it'll give me a good lock and hold. That red is looking so good, y'all. I love it. Look how the coils are already starting to pop. Now, one thing about natural hair, you really have to have patience. And it's gonna take some getting used to, especially if you know, you're know you not used to wearing your natural hair. I'm going to take my small rat tooth comb and further work that product into my hair, just making sure it is like really combed through and evenly distributed. And that's with any product I use, whether it's the Eco Styler Gel or the Aunt Jackie's, I really work the product into my hair so that it really absorbs it and my curls can really get that definition that they need. I'm gonna go in with my sponge and this really helps me get the shorter areas of my hair super defined and just, you know, coils are just popping, okay? All right, now it's time for the front. So what I like to do is add product to the entire area and then I break it down and actually work with smaller sections. And I like doing that because while I'm working with one area, the other area has time for that product to set in and settle and just really saturate the hair, so. We're gonna go ahead and get this product in, work it in really good. I'm also gonna use my detangling brush on the longer area. As you can see, look how my hair is already soaking that product up. It's not a game. It's not a game. 
So now that I have the product all throughout my hair, I'm going to use my water bottle and just kind of saturate this area because it did get a little dry. So I just want to make sure it is kind of saturated. And of course, you can go just like this. You can leave it just like this and just kind of scrunch your curls and they will continue to form. And then move on to your back section and do the same. And you can totally rock your hair just like this. Maybe diffuse it a little bit with your diffuser. However, we are doing finger coils. So I'm going to section off this front row. I really like to section off the front a lot smaller because to me this part is a little bit shorter than the rest of my hair so I like to work with this section alone and just coil those first and then go in with my other section so that's what I'm about to do right now all right y'all so I decided where I had that small section parted I'm just gonna leave that there and then bring all my coils like to the left side of my head so I've been parting my hair like slanted and then doing my coils like that so here we are. This is the coils that I have so far. I love how this product is coiling my hair. Look at that. And then this is the section I'm about to work on. So here we go. I just take a section and you can do these sections as small or as large as you want. I'm going to do them kind of like a smaller size because I'm not going to separate them. I'm just going to lift up my roots and leave my coils intact so my coils may be a little bit smaller than what you want to do but like I said you use what size section you're comfortable with working with Alright guys, hair is complete. Here is what it looks like. I'm just going to rock it like this for the rest of the day because I'm not really going anywhere. And then tomorrow, well, I might be going somewhere. I may be going thrifting, but I'm not going to comb it out for that. But tomorrow we have a party to go to, so I will be combing it out for that and then putting on a little bit of makeup. So I'll show you guys the final results tomorrow. Before I go, I am going to add some oil to my hair. You guys know I like to end it with a little bit of oil. And normally I start it with oil, but I added that root stimulator instead. So I'm going to add oil as my finishing touch. Hey guys, it is the next day. I have taken my bonnet off. That is all I did was slip in my bonnet. My hair still looks great. And I've also put on a little bit of makeup because I'm headed out to a birthday party. So before I go, I am gonna pick up my roots just a little bit, but I mean, really, I don't have to do anything to my hair, y'all, if I don't want to. But let's add a little bit of oil. And so I'm just gonna take a little bit, put it in my hand, rub that in, and then just dab it all throughout my hair, just like this. And like I said, it still looks good. Like I really don't have to do anything to it. Looks good as is. The last step that I'm gonna do is take my pick 
and just lift the roots in this area. So I'm going to go inside, pull up, and then just let it go. Open it up, lift a little bit, and I'm just going to do the same all around the top portion of my hair. I gotta break up my mirror so I can see the back. <laughs> All right guys, so I have finished doing my hair. I picked it out as much as I wanted it picked out. These are the final results. Um, as the days progress, my hair will get bigger and bigger on the top. So I love like second, third, and fourth day hair. Those are like my favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed this hair vlog coming along with me to the barber shop, to the beauty supply store, and also just doing my hair and showing you how I maintain it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. And you gonna show them the finished product before you show your damn wife? You this. Cool. They ain't seen this yet. I gotta edit this. Oh. That's right. I forgot. No, no, that's.